Hey guys, Phil and John here. We're going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some squat form stuff. We just finished up the Cindy Challenge and we're, uh, we're moving forward, looking at what's next and uh, making some tweaks to how we squat for a little while to uh, fix some problems we've noticed. So I'm going to turn the camera on Phil. He's going to demonstrate um, some, some squat form for us and show us what's up. So here we go. Phil, go ahead and uh, do, a, do a good um, toes out, knees out squat. Okay, and you can see, let's see if I can point here. Right here, his, uh, his knees are out over his toes. Um, everything's nice in line. That's a good squat. That's what we're looking for. Go ahead and come up, Phil. <clears throat> now, um, squat again and let your, uh, let your knees cave. Keep your toes where they are, but let your knees cave in. Okay, now let's see. If we come around to the front here, you can see his knees uh, a little bit inside of his toe here. Um, that's definitely what we don't want to see. Go ahead and come up again, Phil and uh, turn your toes way out. We see some people, we, we talk about getting knees out and they're getting their knees out, but their toes are so far out. Go ahead, Phil, squat down with your knees out. But um, again, if we come over here, we can kind of see, again, his knees are out now, but they're still inside of his, where his toes are. You know, we'd really need to get your knees way out if you're gonna turn your toes out this much. Go ahead and let him, let him come in. I wanna show something and hang out there as much as you can, Phil. So you can see the weights toward the inside of his, his uh, feet here, he's, he's pronating. Um, if we look from the right on, we can see knees are inside of the feet. Um, that's a bad position because there's a lot of uh, sideways lateral forces on his, uh, on his knee here. Go ahead and come up, Phil. Um, and that's, that's doing some pretty bad stuff to his knee, um, some to his ankles. And uh, what we found is that, um, or what, we, what we've seen research showing is that that's a good indicator of uh, somebody uh, blowing out their ACL. Whenever you see somebody pronating, go ahead and do that one more time, Phil. And you see a lot of uh, pronation. You see people dropping uh, drop to the inside of their foot right in here. Um, that's a good indicator for a, a likely ACL injury. So we want to avoid that. Go ahead and come up, Phil. Um, so here's our solution. Here's what we're going to be doing for a little while here. Um, we're going to go toes more straight forward. And he's going to squat down. He's going to push his knees still out. And they're actually going to go out um, outside of his toes. Go ahead, Phil, squat down. So you can see here, um, pretty straightforward toes, but knees are actually outside. And this is a good quality squat. Uh, we're not putting the same kind of uh, forces on the weak part of your knee. Um, everything's much safer here. This is gonna take some flexibility for some of you guys that are, that are doing some problem squats. Go ahead and come up, Phil. Um, that's, uh, that's gonna be difficult. Uh, it's gonna take some work. You might have to work on ankle flexibility a little bit. It's really gonna test that, but um, that's important. We don't want to see any knees injured. We want to see you guys uh, making progress, staying safe, and doing this for a long time. So um, look for us to be stressing that and working on that in the coming weeks and months. All right? Thanks, guys.